Hi, I'm Howard here at the Montgomery District with Team 225 TechFire. Guys, can you tell us a little bit about your robot? So the first thing I'm going to talk about about our robot is the programming. So one of the things that we do differently than a lot of other teams is in the sandstorm mode, our robot runs completely autonomous. And basically, it moves over to the rocket and performs a, like a double hatch panel autonomous, grabbing another one. And a lot of teams are just driving. We have the option to interrupt it, but this autonomous feature makes us really consistent and is unique. Um, another thing that we're doing that a lot of other teams aren't is the camera that we use for vision is actually a Pixie 2. So we don't actually use the normal uh, ring light and uh, grip that a lot of people are using. And we actually track the tape line on the ground in front of the game pieces, and that allows us to line up to it. Okay. Um, so one thing I, I want to talk about is the floor intake. One thing that diver differentiates us from the most is the floor intake. What this allows us to do is to both pick up off the ground and also what we found is that we could also just push the hatch panels from the station on the ground. And what this allows us to do is to place the hatch panels directly in one spot and allow for easy pickup and easy access to any sort of hatch panels. So when we were designing our robot, we found that efficiency was key when it came to designing a robot that could cycle fast. That's, that's why you'll see a lot of times our arm is able to go inside of our robot and that's why we kept this space open. That's why our arm comes through here for the floor intake. That's why we use the same mechanism um, to place the hatch panels um, even though they might have been, come from the floor. Uh, we have the cargo intake up here that can if we want, it can score upside down, so if the wheels are on the bottom. That's our robot. So guys, when you plan the robot at the beginning of build season, do you guys kind of put mechanical first or programming first in your thought process? So when it comes to our robot's design process, generally we think about the game as a whole, not really mechanical or programming. Generally we have a priority list that runs through, and then the mechanics come together and the programming adapts to that. So if, I guess if I were to put it mechanical over programming, probably mechanical comes first and programming adapts to it. However, um, we definitely do design our robot so that it can be controlled um, in very precise ways. So that's why we have the potentiometers on all of our systems. Um, that's why we have a double jointed arm instead of maybe just a four bar. Um, so it all comes together. I wouldn't say one is higher than the other. All right, thank you guys and good luck at competition. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.